It may be a hot take, but I really enjoy watching the Warriors play in those close, tight games like the one they played last night against the Sacramento Kings when the Warriors came out on top 102 to 101. But keep in mind, I do like it when the Warriors win. But watching them last night, it really felt like the old Warriors were finally back. And it kind of made you realize how off they were last year. Well, Draymond Green had a pretty controversial quote after the game. And he said, look, last year was horse. SH, use your imagination. It was hard to come to work. It wasn't fun. So this year, you see the joy on guys' faces. You got guys staying over two, three hours just talking, getting two to three hours early just to be here. You start to see that, and you're like, okay, this is a group that likes to be together. I saw the wholesome, high-energy Warriors playing against the Kings last night. Chase Center was popping off. The entire bench couldn't sit down. I don't think I saw Brandon Pajemski literally take a seat. And it felt like this was a 2022 or the 2016 Warriors all over again. Draymond continued to say, you see the adults in the room, the professionals in the room, the steady forces in the room. It's paying off. Look at our second unit. At times, they played better than our first unit. I always tell the guys you win championships six through 10, not one through five. He didn't flat out say Jordan Poole's name, but with all the stuff that's going on, it was pretty evident he was talking about the adults in the room that are all there now. But like he said, I do agree with the last quote that it takes six through 10 to win a championship. And I've loved the backcourt so far. But when you talk about last year, the Jordan Poole situation, Draymond Green is almost 10 years older than Jordan Poole, and he was not the mature one in the situation at all. So it's really nice to see Draymond finally take initiative with these younger guys. But overall, Poole did need to go. I don't think I realized how bad the energy was until I saw the Warriors play this year without Poole. I think he's a good player, but I think Washington really suits him. Because the Warriors are a championship-level team. Poole was playing selfishly last year. There's no way you should be pulling up from 35 feet with Steph Curry on your team. Steph Curry invented that shot. And you're telling me Jordan Poole's doing it with 10 seconds left on the clock? That was crazy. He can do that with Kyle Kuzma. They like to show off, especially Jordan Poole trying to hit the no-look Curry shot and doesn't make it. That's tough. That's really tough. But do you guys agree with Draymond's comment about the chemistry? Do you guys feel like this is a different Warriors than you saw last year? All you got to do is type A for agree and type D for disagree. I fully agree. I loved. I was posted up on my couch just as excited as I would be if I was in the Chase Center watching the Warriors play last night, and I do think it was the chemistry. While you guys are commenting about that, I'm going to tell you about Prize Picks, our sponsor here on Warriors Today. It's the number one daily fantasy sports app for a reason. It's so easy. It takes less than 60 seconds to help you win money. All you have to do is pick between two to six players, their projected stats, and you just click more or less, and you're done. I made a six-pick selection, and they went on ahead and gave me a payout boost. I put in $20. If all six of my picks hit, I'm going to make 600 Of course, I do have Ch Kevin Durant having less than seven rebounds, Aaron Donald more than almost half a sack, Terry Kill with more than seven receptions, and the same thing for Travis Kelsey. Young Hoku, why not go on ahead and kick almost two field goals made, and Tyrese Maxey with 34 and a half more points, rebounds, and assists. These are my picks. I want to see yours. All you have to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS, and you can win a deposit match up to $100 on your first entry. Now, when you're on top, there's going to be some haters. And for some reason, the biggest hater of the Warriors this season has been Charles Barkley. At halftime during the Kings-Warriors game, he said the Warriors are cooked. That's nuts, first of all. So Draymond naturally, claps back at Chuck saying, I don't mind that. I think old sounds a little harsh. I think old sounds as if we looked like Chuck when he was out there with the Houston Rockets. That's what old kind of sounds like to me. But then he digressed and said, yeah, our ages are getting up there. In saying that, though, we are experienced. I think the most important thing is staying healthy. We're definitely getting older, but that ain't never stopped us from winning. And I want you guys to remember a couple of videos ago, Charles Barkley said that the Warriors were the worst team in California. Hold up, Chuck, because the Warriors just beat the Kings not once, but twice. So that doesn't add up. But anyways, haters are going to hate. 
I want you guys to go ahead and show some Warriors some love because some people out there are not loving the Warriors right now. Go on ahead and comment a blue heart, a gold heart, both or one. Whatever you can to show the Warriors love, drop it down in the comments. And while you guys are doing that, I just want to talk about how fun it's been watching the Warriors through five games so far. You finally get to see Curry reactions when he makes a three. It really feels like it could be a good year. But when talking about that and the Kings game last night, because the Kings do give the Warriors a bit of a run for their money, I want to point out five good things that I saw from the game. Six Warriors in double-digit scoring. This was a full-blown team effort last night, and it needs to be that way moving forward. Clay Thompson looked like his old self, and he hit the game winner, and it was kind of refreshing not to see Curry have to do it. Curry was on the bench, actually. Green's defense is back, so that ankle injury definitely looks a lot better. Dario. This is a Dario we have been waiting for. He was finally hitting his primetime shots, and Wiggins looked aggressive. Wiggins was off to a rough start, so I'm really glad to see that Wiggins is finding his mold and he's really fitting in with his role. And if you look at the stat last night, Curry was on the bench for the game-winning shot, but he was also having a historic night. Another night, another milestone. Stephen Curry is the first player in the NBA history to make a three in 250 regular season games. So going back to prize picks, if you guys ever have more for Steph Curry on threes, I'd go on ahead and take that one. But with good, there comes bad. The bad of the turnovers. You guys know this was an issue last year. It's been an issue this year. Steve Kerr has said time and time again he wants no more than 14 turnovers a game, which is being pretty gracious. And the Kings do something to the Warriors, man. They had 17 last night. The Kings didn't even play with De'Aaron Fox. So if you beat the Kings by one without De'Aaron, it's going to be a really different ball game with De'Aaron. And this has been a trend this season, I've noticed. The Warriors come out flat in the third quarter. Right after halftime, the Kings went on a 12-2 run that caused Steve Kerr to have a timeout. The Warriors can't do that because, thankfully, they made a comeback, but sometimes they could dig a hole and it would be really hard to get out of it. Honestly, though, I think the Warriors-Kings games are going to be a lot of fun this year, especially if they do make it in the playoffs like they had last year going all the way to Game 7. I think the Warriors and Kings are a great matchup. And, of course, the Warriors already won the first two, but there's two more to go. They're going to play later this month at Sacramento. And then in the new year, they're going to come back to Chase Center and they're going to play again. And I know that's going to be a really good game because overall, a win is a win. Whether you win by one, whether you win by 50, I liked what I saw more than what I didn't like last night against the Kings. And I'm super excited to see the Warriors move forward. So which Warrior have you guys enjoyed watching the most this season? I truly have loved Curry pop off the same way that he did the year that he won the MVP award. In 2015, 2016, I think he's been shooting lights out. So I want to hear from you guys. Type down in the comments below. And as always, hit that subscribe button.